So, in this session walkthrough, uh, we will have at least the overview of the presentation. So, the first thing is um, assessment. So, we will discuss um, shortly or briefly the basic concepts or basic ideas behind assessment. So, we call it Assessment 101. Followed by the tech tools that we will be, uh, we will be discussing so we, we have at least prepared some common and at least adaptable tech tools that teachers can use or utilize, especially in dealing with their synchronous and asynchronous classes. And then the third one is we are expected to, or all, all the participants are expected to at least implement or share or do some um, sample activities that is related to the tech tools that we'll be sharing. So the assigned part to me is basics, basic, the basic of assessment. So we go there. We go to the basic of assessment. So we will have, uh, we will uh, do the basic of assessment in a form of a quiz. So participants, can you please um, type joinmyquiz.com in your um, search tool or search bar or web, bra uh, web bar at the upper part of your website and then enter the code 396414. So we will have uh, the assessment discussion in a form of a game. So this is quizzes. So you can join by typing joinmyquiz.com in the search bar and then enter the code 396414. Okay, can you do it now? So while doing, um, thank you for the first participants it's for RV Salva. Okay, sige lang po. So while dumadagdag pa mga participants natin, um, top three teachers na mananalo po sa ating quiz will receive um, an e-book coming from Mang Intatano. So, ipopost na, um, makikita naman po natin dito kung sino yung mananalo. And then, yung top three po na makikita nila yung name nila na mananalo, um, pakipost po ang inyong email ad sa ating chat box para po ma-receive nyo ang inyong mga prize. Once again, top three teachers that uh, will have the highest score for the basics of assessment will receive an e-book coming from Ma'am Intatano and then, yung tatlo na po na yon, once ma-announce po yung name ninyo, pakilagay po ang inyong email ad, a gmail, gmail, um, email ad na gmail sa chat box natin para po for your ebooks. Ebooks. Yon. So, we are expecting at least 300 participants. So, 83 na po ang nakakapasok. E-books, no? Madami pong ibibigay si Ma'am Intatano kasi e-books po ang sabi niya. <laughs> Yan. Parang gusto ko rin sumali dahil nga may price. May libre pong e-books. Diba? At least may freebies tayo. So, we are reaching 100 participants. So, sa mga nahihirapan po, paki look at the upper part. That's the direction. Joinmyquiz.com and then enter 396414. Siguro pag na-reach na natin yung peak na 300, tapos kung may excess pa, habol na lang. Pero mag-start tayo once we reach, I don't know, siguro 250 o 225. Kasi hindi natin hihintayin lahat. O mukhang bumabagal na siya. Ayan. Let's have a minute to... Ito, um, to ano. Uh, we, so, we need to waiting for enough uh, before we begin. Okay. Once again, joinmyquiz.com and then enter the code 396414. So this is another tech tool, join uh, quizzes. Ang tawag po sa kanya is quizzes.com. You can see it at the upper part of the website. Uh, tinatry po namin to para at least magkaroon din kayo ng idea how you can also use quizzes in your quizzes. Kasi uh, most of the teachers, ang ginagamit po nila is Kahoot. So we conceptualize of choosing other platforms in um, expressing or presenting quizzes, which is in a form of quizzes. 144, 146. Siguro, last 30 seconds. Last 30 seconds po. 
last 30 seconds. Sorry, net. Free daw po ba ang quizit? Po, free, free yes, free po, free po. Pero may premium siya. Um, yung premium po is kung may mga may mga special features po yung quizit like um, yung may mga items po doon na kung gusto mong explain, lalabas din po doon, pero kailangan po premium ang account. Pero for free, for free lang muna po tayo. So you can explore quizzes.com. Free po siya, pero pwede po premium. May mga add-ons po siyang idadagdag. Like Kahoot. Ang Kahoot din po kasi free. Pero uh, magkakaroon siya ng pay kasi meron siya mga extra ano, um, add-ons. Okay, 162. Nag-stop na tayo doon. Last 10 seconds po. We will not wait for the rest na po ah, kasi due to time constraint. Yes. 1, 80. Balitin. 9, and 1. Okay, let's start. Let's start na po ah. Ayan, may tunog. Go. What is the primary purpose of assessment? Okay, mukhang nagsasagot na po sila. Kita po ng ating participants yung pagpipilian. Nandun po yung pagpipilian. Bilis ha. Ah, so sa participant side, yes, makikita, makikita yung question. Opo, para po hindi magkaroon ng kumparahan. Hmm. Sa kahot kasi, ang nakikita lang is yung... Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. Uh -oh. Opo. Ayun, nawawala yung tunog. 12. Okay. 10, 9, 8. Okay. Who got it correct? Si Sir RJ, ay Ma'am Isa. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, provide feedback to help our students succeed. So, well, technically, that's the primary role of assessment to provide feedback para malaman po ng mga sudyante natin if they learn from our lesson or not. So, technically, that's the goal of assessment, no? Okay, may mga iba pong... Medyo nagkamali. So, try to reconsider your answer. Next question. Oh, diba exciting? <laughs> Go. Okay. Assessment done during the instructional process uh, for the purpose of improving teaching and learning. Oh, assessment done. Anong tawag sa assessment? kapag siya ay during the lesson period, no? Nandiyan yung pagpipilian sa kanilang mga screens. Mamaya ko i-reveal. Ah, so yung point system niya pala, sir, is um, since kung tama pareho, is um, paunahan din. Uh, uh, may option po ang ano, ang quizzes. Pwede pong self-paced. Pwede pong synchronous asynchronous yung mode niya. Ang ginawa ko po kasi ngayon is synchronous kasi nagpe-present tayo. Pero kung sa klase po, pwede man pong asynchronous. Ganon. Okay, time is up. Let's see. Okay, leaderboard. Tingnan natin. Oops. Si Sir Jules ang ano. So the, 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 the right or the correct answer is formative. O, formative po yun kasi when we talk about formative assessment, ito yung mga assessment na ginagamit natin during the course of the lesson. Hindi siya sa beginning, hindi siya sa end. Siya ay sa course of the lesson. So to cite a few, we have, um, let's say for example, mga Socratic Pideya, mga uh, hot, uh, higher order thinking questions, mga activity na nag-a-assess sa bata while they are learning from our class. So that, that, the term is formative assessment. Okay? Next question. So, ito yung, ano, sir, ito yung quizzes na for synchronous. Kasi pwede siyang asynchronous. Okay. Used to evaluate students' learning at the conclusion of a defined structural period. So, ito naman, sa dulo, 
anong tawag sa assessment kapag siya ay sa hulihan or sa dulo na? Okay? Parang ang pansin ko, kung sino yung mas nauna, mas mataas yung points niya. Mas naunang tama. Mas naunang tama. <laughs> Oo, oh, naunang tama. Oo, oh, oh, kasi kinakonsider yung time element in choosing sa pinakamagagaling. Okay, time is up. Leaderboard. Okay, let's see. Oops. Okay, so si Sir Jules pa rin ang leading, no? The correct answer is summative assessment. A very good example of a summative assessment yung mga standardized test na kinukuha ng mga bata natin at the end of every period, or every quarter. Uh, periodical tests are considered summative tests. Yung mga test na uh, in, uh, sin, um, sinasagutan at the end of the school year, uh, those are also summative tests. So, um, the cue there is standardized. So, pag buong division, pare-pareho ng exam, uh, these are considered summative assessments. Resta Ay, restart tuloy. Sorry. Next question na pala ako. Question number four. Okay, go. Bilis ha. Siguro mabilis sa cellphone nila. No? Medyo naglalag sa akin dahil marami. Type of assessment giving, given at the beginning of the instruction. Ito naman sa una. So kung meron tayong in between, which is some, um, at the end summative, tas formative, ano ang tawag sa unahan? No? Bago tayo mag, mag-lesson. Ano klaseng assessment ay bibigay natin sa bata? Bilis, ang bilis, ang bilis. Ayan, ayan. Okay. Ah, mukhang alam na nila yung sagot. Time is up. The correct answer is we go to our leaderboard. Okay, si Sir Jules pa rin ang leading. Okay. Of course, the term is diagnostic assessment. So, common diagnostic, diagnostic assessments are yung KWLALH, yung aalamin mo na natin kung ano alam ng bata. We can also give surveys to this, kung ano yung nararamdaman nila before entering the lesson. And so, pag lahat ng mga assessment that deals with um, preparation prior to the lesson, ang tawag po sa kanya ay diagnostic test or assessment. So, we have three types of assessment. Diagnostic, which is at the beginning. Formative, which is during. And summative at the end. Okay, next. So let's go to the applications of these three. Tignan natin kung masasagot ng mga teachers. Okay, which of the following would you consider a summative assessment? Yung mga pagtitilian po doon. Ang bibilis naman sumagot ng iba. Parang oh. kakalabas pa lang ng tanong, may nag-pop up ng sagot eh. Ano sir, para naglalag na sa akin, I don't know. Parang feel ko naglalag kasi I, I ha, maraming participants, 186 yung nagsasagot eh. Medyo may time, may lag ng 1 to 2 seconds. Hindi nagsasabay yung tunog. O oh, ayan na, wala rin tunog. Pero nagsasagot sila. Okay, ano kaya, ano kaya doon sa mga example sa binigay ko ang kinoconsider natin sa matip assessment? Okay, time is up. I think the correct answer is yung may cue na standardized. Okay. Okay, may pangalan talaga pang angatlo si Love You. Okay, the, the answer is standardized reading test. Okay. Quiz can be considered pero mas mas appropriate ang standardized reading test kasi siya ay parang kahilintulad ng periodical test. Okay, next question. May nagsasagot, no? <laughs> ang bilis. Which target area is generally assessed using rubric? O, alam natin, what's the primary goal of a rubric? Why do we need to 
use rubric in our assessment? At ano yung kinikator ng rubric? Okay. Ang bilis, ang bilis. Okay. Let's see. Ang cute, no? Dahil emoticon yung mga bata, hindi na malalaman ko sinong leading. Basta pag nakita sa leader, uh, sa leaderboard, emoticon siya. So parang napoprotect pa rin yung itsura ng bata kung sino na uunang magpasa at hindi. Time's up. The correct answer is... Ayan, leaderboard. Ayan natin kung may bago. Okay. The correct answer is, rubrics is for performance. Take note, lahat po ng subject has performance task. And this performance task must be accompanied with the appropriate and the right rubric. Next question. Go. Surveys and questionnaires are useful for measuring which target area. Kasi, ayan. Ano kayang target area ang minihit ng surveys and questionnaires? Ayan. At sa makaka... Okay, medyo... At sa magiging first, may nag-aabang sa yung e-book from Ma'am Vivian. <laughs> Okay, di ba? Maganda yung quizzes. You can explore also quizzes in your quizzes. Mamapansin mo, sir, iba-iba yung avatar ng mga bata to protect uh, uh, their quiz. Unique quiz, talaga. No? Unique. Oo, unique. Tsaka hindi malalaman ng mga bata kung sino na unang sumagot. Sa Kahoot kasi walang ganitong feature. So yun yung pinagkaiba nilang dalawa. So the teachers can, ha can choose. They can choose quizzes or Kahoot. Time's up. Okay, leaderboard. Ina natin, mukhang si Sir Jules pa rin. Pangalawa si Love You. Sino kaya si Love You, no? <laughs> Love, Love, you. Love You. Love You too. <laughs> ah. Okay. The surveys and sur uh, questionnaire addresses disposition. When we say disposition, kung ano yung pakiramdam, feeling ng bata, or judgment niya sa isang bagay. Okay? Kaya tayo nagsisurvey, is to, uh, effective siya for feedbacking. So mamaya sa Google Forms na ituturo, meron doon isang sample ng feedbacking na pwede kong uh, feedbacking form na pwede kong i-share. Yun naman ang aking i-share mamaya sa mga teachers. Okay, that's for free naman. Gumawa ako ng template for feedbacking. So mahalaga po ang surveys and questionnaire as a form of feedbacking to our students, especially in online, online teaching and learning. Okay, next question. Mukhang malapit na po tayong matapos. Okay, which of the following statements is true? So, let me state po ako, dalawang statement lang yon. I think this is regards with um, test. Okay. Tignan natin. Okay, time is up. Okay, leaderboard. Sir Jules pa... Uy! Si Love You! Sino kayong Love You? The correct answer is... Okay. Uh, general statements regarding test are if the test is valid, it is generally reliable. So, the rule is kailangan mo nang i-check ni, te ni, ni teacher ang validity ng kanyang exam to conclude that that is reliable. So, mauna muna si validity before the reliability. Okay? Mukhang misconception sa mga teachers yun ah. So siguro later on, we will try to clear this. This is a misconception kasi mataas yung nasa nakapag-pulse. Mauna po muna ang validity after the reliability. Next question. 
I think this is the last. Ay, hindi pa. Um, second to the last. Why is it important for teachers to understand reliability and validity? O bakit sa teacher, ba't mahalagang kapag gumagawa tayo ng test, especially for test construction, mahalaga yung reliability and validity? So, nakikita po natin yung dami ng response. Kung medyo bumabagal, ibig sabihin, mahirap yung test. May ganong trend. Pero kung marami nagpa-pop up, ibig sabihin, alam ng mga teachers or alam ng ating mga participants yung sagot agad. So this, that is also a feedback, a good feedbacking mechanism na dapat natin i-address. Yan. Actually, nakisali rin ako eh. <laughs> Ito ko rin yung ranking ko. Yan. Wow. Para makita ko yung interface. Pero wala lang naman. Tinry ko lang. Ay, mali ako. Mali ako. <laughs> I miss up. The correct answer is... Let's go to the leaderboard. Si Love View, sino kaya ito? Si R. Banigon. Okay, the answer is, so they can interpret the scores and help parents interpret the scores. Okay? So, the purpose of reliability and validity is for the interpretation of test scores. Yun naman ang goal niya. No? The end goal of every... of reliability and validity for tests, especially when we assess, is para ma-interpret natin yung scores ng bata. And also, to extend it further, interpret, uh, to help parents interpret also the scores of the student, yung mga anak nila. Okay? So that's the goal. That's the goal of reliability and validity to interpret test scores. I think this is the last, sir. <laughs> Okay, this is the last. Ms. De La Cruz asked Mr. Torres to review the questions on her social studies quiz. What type of measure was she worried? Saan siya nag-aalala? Okay. So, saan nag-aalala si Ms. De La Cruz? Bakit pinareview niya yung test niya kay Mr. Torres? Okay. Minsan may ganito tayong dealing sa, sa department, no? Pinapareview muna yung test. Also accompanied by the TOS para makita kung anong aspect ba ang minimeasure natin kapag tayo ay nagbavalidate the term is validation of test or we review the test. That is test validation. Okay, time is up. Let's go to the leaderboard. The correct answer. Oh, si Love You. Oh, mamaya magsasama rin naman to. Eh. Ayan. The correct answer is, tama po kayo. Majority would agree. Um, the answer will be content validity. Okay? So, tignan natin yung mga nakasagot. I think wala nang next question ito. Okay. Do you want to end? Yes. So, tignan po natin kung sino ang nakakuha ng top three na panalo. Okay, loading. Naku, PLDT, be nice. Okay, okay, ito po ah. Sino kaya ang nanalo? Ay, nasa na yun? Summary. Ayan. Ayun! Congratulations po! Sino po si Love You? <laughs> Di ba po may ruling tayo? Ang ruling po natin ay... Kailangan po complete name ang ilalagay. Pero kung sino, mang, sino ka mang love you, ayan. So the accuracy of all the participants are 61%. So the top is si love you. So pakilagay po ang inyong email ad sa ating chat box at kukunin po ni Ma'am Vivian yun. Followed by, is this babae po ba to? Si R. Banigon or lalaki po. And then of course, Sir Bato or Ma'am Jules. Ayan. So, the accuracy, ang maganda po sa quizzes, pwede mong i-email sa bata, sa parent, yung kanilang scores. Okay? I hope you learn from the basics of assessment. Uh, may I give now the floor to Ma'am Vivian Intatano for the tech tools. Thank you! Hi! Congratulations po! Thank you, Sir Raynet. Uh, good morning po to everyone, especially to our dear supervisors headed by Ma'am 
Grandilia. Magandang magandang umaga po. Um, uh, for, to those who won, congratulations. Um, I'll be sharing ebooks to you, ebooks of leadership and uh, assessment as well. So please um, type in your your uh, email address so we know where to send the the winners. Okay, uh, the ebooks. I mean, let me share my screen. Okay. All right. Good morning again. I am Vivian Intatano, and you may call me Bam. I'm here to discuss to just run down some of the tech tools for online assessment. <laughs> no, wala yung S natin. Online assessment. So, um, we have already heard or discussed. Na recall tayo. We were able to revisit the the um, our one assessment 101. So, I think we can now. We are now ready to apply some of the tools. Where to put these tools that I'm going to mention. But before that, I would like to invite everyone to have a 30 seconds smile break. So, magpo-pause on time in 30 seconds. You're going to take a selfie of yourself. And then, you can upload it to social media. So, in your mga social media account using our hashtag TechToolsSDO. Manila. Uh, you can upload it to your FB and IG. So, mag-smile break muna tayo. The countdown starts now. Yan. So, kailangan mag-selfie mag po kayo and yung makikita namin who will post just, uh, we will also pick up those first three who will post to their social media. Kahit mamaya pa, basta nauna kayo, you will get also, um, you will also be contacted for your simple gift for our simple 30 seconds smile break. And tapos na po. So, we will now, thank you, thank you for those who smiled. I hope uh, you're happy this morning and you had your selfie. Okay, welcome to our next session. So, to continue with our discussion on assessment, so we all know that assessment is not separated from other aspects of our learning plan. So if we are going whatever format of learning plan we have, um, we can say that whatever learning format, there is an assessment, diba? Hindi, we don't prepare. Siguro para sa akin, um, kung, kung meron tayong kasabihan na na very uh, it's it's not good no parang mortal sin sa atin di ba pag pag if we don't have um if we don't have a lesson plan parang katsama din sa sin yan if you don't assess if you are not going if we are not going to assess the students and assess the learning of the day so sa ating course plan sa ating black plan or whatever plan you call that whatever format there is always an assessment so, we know the purpose of assessment and um, looking at the learning cycle, we know the content, we plan for the content, uh, we know it, uh, yung, yung, kung well-versed tayo dun sa content natin, and we target, when we plan, we, get, we, we tend to get the target and the objective natin, what will be the learning outcomes, and then we are going to apply different teaching and learning strategies for us to achieve the learning outcome. And of course, that will not stop there. What we need to do is to assess. So we have to look at the different assessment method you know, for us to also improve the next cycle of our planning and uh, teaching and learning process, okay? So when we plan, uh, when we, we have to include and we have to bear in mind that we have to align assessments with learning objectives. So we all know we are equipped with our knowledge on the Bloom's taxonomy. So, ayan yung mga ano natin, uh, when we do assessment, kailangan student, we will prepare activity or assessment tools that will help our students remember. They will help, they will depend, we will assess their understanding. They will, we will help them apply, so something like that. So, be sure that whatever assessment tools that we're going to use, whether paper or pencil, this must be aligned with the um, Bloom's taxonomy natin. Itong mga nandiyan sa inyong, sa ating cone, ano? And which is the highest one is the create. Um, now, since the, our topic is online assessment, 
uh, online tools, I'll be giving you some of the tech tools that uh, can be used to help us align our assessment with our different learning objectives. So I hope um, based on our 101 in assessment, it's not only when we give paper and test, paper and pen test or quiz, which we do assessment. Okay, so I have here examples of the different assessment tech tools that you can use, which you can also practice uh, this afternoon in our workshop. And also we are going to make uh, at, at least four or five of them. No, We are going to um, practice or try it out after this short presentation. So an example for integrating competence, no, halimbawa, no, ask students to conduct an informal observation and take note of the kinds of physical activities of their family members or even their neighbors. Ano kaya ang ano to? Ano kaya ang grade level to and subject? And you will ask a student to uh, uh, write observation notes to be shared and then compare notes, conduct further research, and then write a short essay. Include a reflective component. So in your activity, is there assessment? Siyempre, meron. Ano, when, you, when you tell them to write their essay, when you tell them to reflect, to, to do reflection. So there is a form of you are integrating um, competence no? sa inyong um, activity. Okay, an example here. No? Presentation and web conference for synchronous performance. Okay, as assessment, oh, as assessment ito, mga friends. Ha? So, um, we have simpler tools and also some of the online tools that we can use. Now, I, we have here the so-called low bandwidth. Because when we say low bandwidth, this is um, characterized by the internet connection and the devices that our students and even us have. When we have unlimited access to the internet and medyo highly expects na mga, na mga devices, uh, we say na may high, high ang bandwidth ng mga bata. Okay, pero, uh, and even the teacher. Pag low bandwidth, yung mga limited. So if we have only 10 gig for, for the whole month, so it means categorized tayo dun sa mga low bandwidth na, na connection. So, um, we have also to think of the assessment tool online that you can use to maximize kung low bandwidth lang ang meron ang mga bata natin and even as teachers. So anong example ng tool na pwede nating gamitin? Pwedeng recorded demonstrations. Like for example, sa HE or sa MAPE, uh, nagturo tayo, no? ba, nagturo ng pagluto ng spaghetti or or pasta for mediano ba yun? <laughs> Parang yun niluto kayo na umaga. Um, pasta na ganun and then you will tell the students na tingnan natin kung if the students learn how to cook that, so you can ask them to record using just a cell phone and then they will just um, upload it to your Google Classroom or to your to just simple email. Okay, documentation of process, photos and narrative uh, using wedding uh, simple movie maker, diba? and then papa upload you lang then. Uh, simple uh, PowerPoint presentations. I'm sure most of our students know it. Lalo sa, sa junior and even lalo na sa senior. Ano? So, we can ask that for a form of assessment. Okay? Pag mga online tools then, so ito na sa left ko ng mga simpler tools, syempre it, a, it needs uploading and downloading which may still complicate the task. No? But I know uh, your ICT in your school have already given you, I, I think, ano, I suppose na given you some of the tips dapat para ma medyo uh, ang ina-upload ay hindi mag-consume ng data and then ang dina-download hindi mag-consume ng data. We should know that also. Um, online tools, we can have video conferencing tools like Zoom, Google Meet, and WebEx. Okay, these are free. No, lalo yung Google Meet kasi may mga G Suite account tayo. No, Zoom is also free for for um, one hour yata, pero parang extended siya because of the pandemic. Uh, may mga restrictions lang. And even Webex, may free sila. Okay? Narrated PowerPoints, screencasting apps. Na pag medyo mga sophisticated or, or kaya ng bandwidth ng mga bata and teachers, we can explore this kind of 
software or online apps para sa ito for the students to record or demo what they have learned no like sa mape kunwari nag nagturo ng dance online si teacher si ma'am and then you will tell them to record no you can use those tools that i have mentioned okay uh, multi projects and e portfolios assessment halimbawa magpapagawa tayo ng ganun sa bata uh, you can we can make use of document pag mga low bandwidth or simpler tools we can make use of the documentation again photo plus narrative report and then reflection okay kasi uh, nagpagawa tayo ng projects nagpagawa tayo ng uh, it's just simple gagawin lang lang sa word gagawin lang sa sa ano uh, sa PowerPoint, no pwede ding email, no ipapa-email niyo lang mga collaborative documents that can be uh, used new mga app para medyo mas uh, uh, ma-maximize in gamit ng data nila. They can use that sa using their their um ano to, akan ng mga tablets, no? Yung mga collaborative documents, you're familiar with that, right? Yung mga shared Google Docs, uh, shared um, Google Sheets, okay, mga sharing up na pwede, which mamaya gagawin ninyo. Uh, and then the students will submit hard copy uh, or soft copy of that by email. So kung allowed na halimbawa na magsisend, pwede niyang kung ano yung ginawa na, pwede nilang isend sa school, di ba? I-submit. Pero dahil nga, for safety of everyone, we want to use the technology. So pwede niyo mga collaborative tools na alam natin, dun gagawa yung bata, and then isesend sa atin via email or sa mga chat nyo, or uploading sa Google Drive sa inyo mga Google Classroom. Pag medyo kaya-kaya ng mga bata, we can we can make use of the different blog sites. Now, blogging is also used to for the students to express their creativity no, with the help of the thought-provoking questions of the teachers. Makaka, para ma-assess yung learning level for a particular unit or lesson, we can ask the students to create a blog. No, pwede silang gumamit ng weeks, mga free po itong site, at, at mga very um, easy to use. Okay, Google Sites, WordPress. No? Lalo yung Google Site, very, very easy to use. And if you just know how to use the insert link, if you know how to insert... Um, Insert the text box ng ginagagawa nyo sa PowerPoint nyo. You can also do that sa Google site. So, you can ask the students to make e-portfolio using the different blog sites. No? And the easiest one is the Google site. Okay, WordPress also and Wix. So, WordPress, pwede yung password protected eh. So, pwede nyo i-explore yan. Another one, another tool that we can use is Canva. So, meron bang mga gumagamit ng Canva? Usually, sa mga pag, instead yung mga bata magdo-drawing, magka-cut-cut cut out ng ganyan, they can make use of Canva. No? At, and there are a lot of templates in the Canva. Free ba ito, ma'am? Yes. Free pa rin itong Canva. Okay. And also, sa paggamit pa rin ng mga projects and portfolio, you can try storyboard that. No? So, you can uh, check it out. And uh, Pag ang bata wants to mag-enter dyan ng bata, they will already explore it. All you have to do is a clear instruction on what to do. Example, uh, take a photo and then take a photo of um, um, shapes around us na we can say ng mga right triangle, halimbawa. And then um, around your house, and dyan mga may right triangle, take a photo of that. And then paste it sa storyboard. Tapos, andun na ibang pa mga question. Okay? So, possible yan. Alright, another one. Um, activity halimbawa, if you will ask the students to make graphic organizer to assess what they have learned from, from the lesson. So, you can make use of Mind Up, Google Slides, and Kuggle.it or Kuggle.it. No? And pwede rin gumamit ng, I forgot right there, pwede rin gumamit ng classtools.net kung mga simple Venn diagram, yan, mga online apps na magagamit natin. Okay, and online quizzes. Yan, uh, online. Pag gusto naman natin, mga quiz na medyo engaging and fun for the students, we can make use of the following. Kapag ka low bandwidth, yan, pwede tayong mag-SMS and chat. No? 
Can you do that? Yes, of course. No, may five item quiz ka, send mo sa sa SMS. It's okay kung yun yung aabot ng bata natin, you know. Via chat, sa FB Messenger, or even sa Hangout, Google Hangout. Okay, sa mismo stream ng inyong Google Classroom. Pwede yun, no? Na, na you just post it there, yung, yung question nyo, and then you are going to, um, and the students will answer. Saan sila mag-answer? Pwede sa papel nila, and then take a photo of that, then send it to your group, group messenger. Kung yun lang talaga ang abot ng bandwidth natin. So, ibig sabihin, may paraan pa din, ano? So, kapag if kaya, if the students can, dahil may kaya ng bandwidth natin, okay, um, you can make use of the quiz feature sa mga learning management system. Like sa Moodle, may quiz feature yan. Moodle is uh, also being used now. May free din siya. Free din ang Moodle. Siyempre, may mga premium tayo. Alam niyo naman yung mga companies na yan. They provide free. As long as we can uh, take advantage of the free, it's okay. Pwede na tayo doon. Huwag na natin hanapin pa yung iba na mas may bayad, no? Pero kung ang payment niyan is only uh, equivalent to a cup of a Starbucks coffee per month, why not? No? So, we can make use of the Moodle quiz feature. A Google Forms, a Google Classroom, which we will also uh, try later on. And sa Edmodo, may mga quiz feature din siya. May mga, may mga sample quizzes and then you can also create yours. No? May mga quiz bank na doon. And if you can afford to explore online apps, yung Kahoot and quizzes. Very, very fun and engaging. You have tried quizzes. That's why last time when we, when we delivered um, this, the same topic, Kahoot ang ginamit namin. So I tried, I asked my partner, sabi ko sa kanya, try natin next quizzes para makita ng mga tao din. Kasi uh, parang sa mga... With, with all the previous um, demonstrations, lessons that I have attended, most of the teachers are already used in Kahoot. Kaya sabi ko, let's try quizzes para makita din ng iba. So, now you know the difference na, na ang, ang quizzes kasi you can see the, the question sa device mo. Ang ano, hindi eh. Ang, ang Kahoot hindi. So, um, it will be harder pa. Pero fun pa din ang Kahoot, no? Pwede namang mag-dictate. Mag Quizlet is another one. Uh, Seesaw is another tool. Socrative, Flippity, which we will also try later on. And the Nearpod. Nearpod, I call it a one-stop shop app. Okay? One-stop shop app because uh, you can also conduct your lessons there. Lalo pag synchronous na medyo you want a, a lower bandwidth. Um, sa amin, ito ang ipapatry ko kasi nga, we cannot have the synchronous weekly eh, uh, na video chat. It's very, very consuming sa bata. So, when my teachers tried uh, Nearpod sa kanilang simulation, which I called roles or rehearsal ng kanilang uh, teaching online, they made use of Nearpod and we found out that we can use it ng lesser kasi yung kanyang consumption ng bandwidth. Plus, sa Nearpod, you can already have quizzes also there or fun uh, assessment tools sa Nearpad. Okay? So, ayan. So, may online quiz, discussion forum for asynchronous discussion, academic papers. So, ito yung mga assessment forms natin. E-journals or reflective blogs. So, we can use this for the higher grades hanggang sa senior high. Yung sa academic papers, sa mga journals, di ba? Presentations, recorded or live demos, web conference, conferencing sessions, multi-part course projects, and e-portfolios. Um, let's have another example. Kunwari, no, um, sa isang reading class or, or AP, nagpa-read nagpa kayo, nag, your lesson or sa module nyo includes article or story. No? Kunwari, meron kayong question, who are the characters in the story? So, you want them to assess if they have um, understood the story. So, may mga questions ka. We, remember, we cannot test if they understood it if we will not ask questions. So, syempre, sa questions lang natin. So, which of the character you like best? So, may mga questions kang ganon. To make it fun and engaging, you can make use of uh, Padlet. No, for them to, anong key takeaways nyo, you can make use of Padlet na, na online tool to assess 
No, they are learning based from the story read or for the article read. And also Google Docs and some of the game apps as well. So Google Docs or Google Slide, if you want them to be uh, to do it collaboratively, per group kunwari, magkakaiba sila ng bahay, you can still do that. How? Using the different Google um, applications like Google Education applications like Google Docs, Google Slide, and all that. Okay, demonstrating, demonstrate understanding of concept. We can also use Google Slide and Padlet. Ayun, nabanggit ko na kanina. Sample na pala yung kanina kong activity. Okay, ayan. Um, Alright, so collaborative documents, I have already mentioned that. If you can afford to explore online apps or software for, for other assessment tools, pwede yung MyBB. It's an open source forum software. New comment. Padlet and Kialo. Okay, so these are other um, other discussion boards or discussion forum that you can do if you would like to use that activity as assessment of the lesson learned. Okay, sa ating mga dadi mga gumagamit ng academic papers and e journals, no, you can make use of the different Google apps pa din, Google Docs, Google Slide for collaborative work. Okay, so what I have here in my slide are examples of some of the activity na pwedeng ipagawa to assess the learning. Lalo at gagawa sila ng mga academic paper and e-journals. No? Kuha tayo ng isa, halimbawa. Um, articulate observations on human cultural variation, social differences, social change, and political identities. So how will the student do that? You can ask or assign um, questions, no? And then they will answer sa Google Docs or Google Slide. Pwede individual or they can also do that collaboratively. Okay. Um, Alright. So, these are the tools. Disclaimer lang, I am not connected to any of the company who, de who developed those tools. I just want to share those research-based um, applications online that we can use to help us in assessment. Okay, now, so we are going to try some of those tools that I have mentioned. So later on, after our um, trial, yung tayo mismo, yung workshop natin, you will be given also your task to do for the day. Okay? So, is there any question about my sharing? Alright, being there none, I would like to return the... The screen to my partner, Serenet. Thank you, Ma'am Bam. Um, I'll be presenting two common, two common um, tech tools na pwede natin gamitin in our lesson. So before that, I want you, si, syempre, to introduce the first tech tool, I want you to go first to this site allev.com slash renatrenan083 and then um, <clears throat> queue in, may tanong po doon, click yes or no. So do you have already the modules <clears throat> for the entire first quarter? Click hit yes if you have it. Hit no kung hindi. Uh, can you do that, that one for two minutes? Sige. The first um, tech tool is known as Poll Everywhere. Pero bago natin gawin, ipapa-experience ko muna sa inyo. Kindly type the, the link here, chat room. So ito po, pollev.com slash Raynet Renan 083. O yan. O, ko na po. Yes polev.com slash rainatrena083 Welcome! May nag no? Let's see. So paulit nga po. Paano pong paulit? Ay, po-post ko lang po ulit. I think naka-all. Ah, panelist lang ba? 
panelists and attendees. Okay, ito po. Yan. Yan, 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 yan. Okay. The first tech tool that I'll be discussing is Poll Everywhere. Poll Everywhere is a tech tool that is uh, used for surveying. Survey siya. So, technically, ideally, maganda siya for um, summative uh, diagnostic and summative assessment. For, summative, uh, for diagnostic assessment, you can ask your class, how are you feeling today? Yun yung mga ganun tanong. And then, uh, what did you learn from the last lesson? Ikaw yung maglalagay ng options. So later on, ituturo ko. Pero ang gusto ko man ang magawa ninyo is yung ma-experience nyo as student, students kung paano siya. So may limitations ang poll everywhere. I think ang kaya niya lang i-handle eh, are more or less 40 participants. Ideally, pwede siya sa isang section lang. So paano ba natin or paano ba ginagawa ang poll everywhere? Okay, so if visuals, uh, in, in, okay, poll, poll na po. Alam ko po, okay lang po yun. So para maintindihan natin paano ang poll everywhere, um, imamano-mano natin siya ha. We go to google.com, a uh, Google, and then type there, dadahan-dahanin ko po, poll everywhere. Ayan. There's no need for um there's no need for you to download this especially kung nasa laptop ka naman kasi you can do exactly mga surveys online. Okay? And then type poll everywhere. So magtatanong si poll everywhere kung meron kang activity um, kung meron kang account sa kanila or wala. O just in case walang account, lalog out lang muna ako. So ito po ang makikita nyo. and then um, log in kung may account ka. Kung wala ka pong account, get started. Okay? So, in the get started, obviously, you are the teacher. Magtatanong siya, ikaw ba ay participant o ikaw ba ay presenter? So, presenter ka. And then, you can sign this one in your Google, Google account. In my case, meron na po ako nito. So, just in case, Wala pa ako, let's say, DepEd. Alam ko meron na ako sa DepEd. Yan. And then, lalabas na po ito. Automatic siya. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo pong baguhin ang inyong account, let's say, for example, gusto nyo po more personalized ang inyong um, name sa poll everywhere, go to the upper right, meron po itong gear, click your name, then click My Settings. Okay, ito po yung settings. Now, mapapansin nyo, hindi nyo pwedeng baguhin yung inyong, binigay sa inyong name ng poll everywhere kasi free siya. Pero kung gusto nyo po, meron silang premium, pwede nyo pong mabago ang inyong name doon. So, yan lang po mga basics. Um, the purpose of the mobile, uh, email, password, name, last name. The purpose of the mobile number kasi, Pwede pong, uh, pwede pong mag-poll everywhere ang mga bata kung wala sila sa internet. How? Using their cell phones. Kaya lang provided po, dapat meron silang load. Kasi itetext nila yung sagot nila. So, magte-text yung poll everywhere sa cell phone ng bata. Tapos, ikikinong bata yung sagot niya and then ibabalik niya sa sender. Time zone and then save. Okay? So, how do we now create surveys using Poll Everywhere? So, paano? So, on the upper left, nandun yung, you can use import or pwede naman pong create. So, create tayo. No? Now, in the create part, mapapansin nyo po, there are a lot of options on how we can um, assess our students whether this is diagnostically formatively or summatively. Now, yung ginawa ko kanina, it's multiple choice. So, title, pwedeng yung pwedeng Tagalog, pwedeng English, dan yung tanong. And then, you can incorporate image to that one para mas makita, especially kapag mga nasa grade 7, grade 8 ang mga bata, mas gusto nila may nakikita sila na naka-accompany sa tanong. And then yung options na gagamitin mo. Well, let's say for example, ayan, yan yung tanong ko. 
Um, ang tanong ko, nag-enjoy ka ba? O did you enjoy the lesson? Or let's say, for example, yeah, no? So this is an example of a assessment where in nagsusurvey ka, tinatanong mo mga bata kung naiintindihan nila. Just like, click their yes and click their no. Now, kung gusto mo lagyan ng picture, walang problema. Now, you can also use word cloud, Q&A. Yung word cloud and then Q&A, this is for um, survey uh, na may open-ended questions. Let's say, ang lalabas sa mga response ng bata yung mga nararamdaman nila. Okay, pero yung ginagawa ko lang ngayon is just multiple choice. So, nakalimit lang ako sa sagot na yes or no. But if we're going to use word cloud and then Q&A sa poll everywhere, ang mga tanong na natatanong mo dito, ano ang anong nararamdaman mo nung natutunan mo ang lesson? So, ang sagot talaga mainly kay bata manggagaling. So, lalabas yung iba't ibang klase ng ano. Sige, let's try. Maganda siguro kung gano'n natin. Um, yun yung gamitin natin. So, how do you feel Oh, hindi, mali. What can you say? What can you say about this webinar? O, yun ang gagawin. Ilagay natin siya sa word cloud. Ayan. And then, create tayo. So, pag nag-create tayo, maglalabas, magpa-pop up yung isang screen. And then, iyan. Lalabas yan, no? Lalabas sa gilid, especially kung laptop ang gamit. Mas maganda po kung a laptop. Wala pang response kasi i-configure muna natin siya. So, paano magre-respond? Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, it can be true text or pwedeng website. So, gawin na muna natin true website. Tanggal natin yung text. So, mapapansin nyo na wala siya dito. And then, test. May kita nyo siya kung anong itsura niya sa side. And then, present. So, pwede natin siyang i-present. O, tignan natin ha. Okay. Gawa, gumawa ulit ako. This is the... Survey, just click all again, pollev.com slash reynetrenan023. Ayan po ang tanong. What can you say about this webinar? So, gawin po natin. Kayo po yung mga sudyante ko today. So, this is limited to 40 participants. Okay, lumalabas na. Informative, great, great, informative. So, mapapansin lang natin dito na kung estudyante po natin yung um gagawa or mag assess medyo wala silang pangalang makikita mo, no? Kasi to protect their identity. Maganda rin pong reflection to sa mga teachers, lalo na kung gusto natin ipasya sa mga bata, yung ating lesson. Okay? So maganda to kasi these are exact or real data. And na pinipresent siya in a way na mas, 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 mas maganda sa mata sa bata. Yan. So dalawa pa yung ko. The first one is true Multiple choice, that is limited to two answers. But in this case, this is word cloud and then Q&A. May kita nyo yung sagot galing sa mga teachers at iba-iba sila. So maganda siyang um, diagnostic test and of course, um, formative test. Now, mapapansin nyo, limited lang siya to 40 persons. Kung gusto nyo po ng mas madaming participants, ang kukunin nyo na po yung premium. Libre siya, pero limited lang yung kanyang dami ng participants. And then, yung ano, um, personification, uh, pag personalize ng name. Pero kung gusto nyo po ng premium, may bayad, mas madami pong participants ang pwede yung isama. Okay. I stop share, sorry. I do hope you learn... Um, you learn, I think we can entertain questions. Oh, mamaya, mamaya na lang po, no? So, yan. The poll cannot longer accept responses kasi um, limited lang siya. So, we're done with poll everywhere. Sana po, may limit po ba? Yes po, 40. Aqu creating question. Well, ano, isang survey, isang question. 17 meter kasi 5. Oo, tama po. Pero sa poll everywhere, one question po, then yun po yung survey natin. Okay. 
Any question pa po regarding poll everywhere? Parang feel ko wala na. Let's now proceed to one of the most common na anong tawag dito? Common na Teka lang, stop. Hindi na ito tapos na ako ba? Common tech tools which is uh, sir, may we suggest may sinasabi po. May we suggest a copy. Ay, hindi ko po masasagot mamaya. Ang makasagot po is si sir ano. O oh, yeah po. Stop na to. Wait po ah. Bakit ganun? Okay. So the next is Google Forms. Okay, I think some of you knows how to do Google Forms. Pero doon sa mga medyo hindi techy, dadahan-dahanin natin. Now, ito po ang aking freebie mamaya. Ito po yung ginawa ko. This is my check-in Google Form. Pakita ko lang po para makita niyo yung ginawa kong um, sample output na ibibigay ko po sa inyo for free na pwede niyong gamitin. Ano po siya? Um, ang purpose nito is to assess kung naiintindihan mga bata yung inyong um, lesson. So it is composed of a header, check-in, and then the name of the child, which is kailangan sulatan, the teacher's name. Tapos mapapansin niyo po, how are you feeling today? Nandiyan po yung mga pagpipilian, pero may mga icons. Para po mas maintindihan ng bata kung ano po i-click. At the same time, uh, ma-assess din po natin mga teachers kung nahihirapan ba sila or not. Tapos ayan, no? do you have anything would like to tell about the lesson? So long answer. Then this is multiple choice. Will you be able to find your assignments for week okay? So this is just a survey kung ang bata ko ba okay pa for the entire week. Nilalagi ko po to every last uh, last part ng lesson ko to assess kung yung mga sudyante ko ay okay pa. This is an effective form of feedbacking na ibibigay ko po sa inyo for free later. Pero bago yun, gawa muna tayo ng Google Forms. I think majority of you knows how to do Google Forms already. Siguro this is just a revisiting moment. Pero doon sa mga bago pa lang nagagawa sa Google Forms, um, dadahan-dahanin ko po for the benefit of you learning it. So, the first thing that you need to know is kailangan po meron kang Google account, whether that is G Suite or not, before you create Google Forms. The purpose of it is lahat po ng gagawin yung forms babagsak sa Google Drive ng inyong Google account. Okay? Sige. So, we go to, we, we first log in. I will just use my Gmail account. And then, um, I go to my drive. This is my drive. And then, after, doing my, after going, going to my drive, I click New. And then, Google Forms. So, nandun po, nandun po yung lahat, no? Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google Slides. The most common is Google Forms. Okay, so automatically it will pop up a new screen, Google Forms. The first thing that you need to do is to look at all the tabs at the upper part kasi kailangan ma-edit mo muna siya before you proceed to the lower part. So the first thing is you create a file name for your Google Forms. Okay, so let's say, lag lagay natin sample form. Okay. Automatically, it will save. Hindi na po natin kailangan pa ng um, saving button for that. And then, mapapansin nyo sa side, it has extensions. Hindi po extension to or add-ons sa inyong Google Forms. Here, we have the theme sa upper part. Pwedeng ibang kulay. Let's say, for example, we use green. Then, nag-iiba rin po ang kanyang font. Dahil bata yon, we can do sample playful. And then we can also put header dito po sa ating forms para po mas enticing sa bata. So you can use the header of your school para po malaman yung identity ng forms. Next is view, preview. So dito natin makikita yung form kapag siya ay finila pa ng mga bata. This is preview. And then settings. Sa so, so settings po, it has three category. We have the general the presentation, and then the quizzes. For the general, um, nakalagay po dyan yung magkocollect ba ng email address. And then ito, mahalaga po ito. Whenever you have quizzes, kailangan po i-click nyo yung limit to one response only. Kasi pwede, na, pwede pong mag-send ng 
Ah, uh, pwede pong mag Anong tawag dito? Pwede pong magbigay or mag paulit-ulit na sagutan ng bata yung forms pag dire ni limit. And then yung respondents pwedeng i-edit yung kanyang mga response. For the presentation, especially kung may tanong ka, kung gusto mong i-shuffle and then yung progress ng iyong mga students. For the quizzes, obviously, um, kung quiz ang gagawin, you can move this one. Kung hindi naman siya quiz, kung siya ay forms lang na fifilapan, survey, kahit hindi na. Okay, gawin natin siyang quiz. And then save. Now, on the upper part also, we have send. The purpose of send is kung kayo naman isi-send yung iyong forms. Pwede siya through email. Then, pwede rin naman mag invite ka. It can be sent in three ways. Through email, pwede pong link, pwede siyang paikliin, short link, and of course, pwede siyang i-embed doon sa iyong PowerPoint or Word and also in Facebook and Twitter, if you have. And then, you also have three dots here kung gusto mong kopyahin. So, ito po mahalaga to, ha? Why? Kapag po may nag nagpag, ako po nag-send ako sa inyo ng sample Google Forms, gawa nyo lang po siya ng copy. Yung copy lang po ang pamimigay ninyo. Or gawa kayo ng copy, basta yung tatlong copy, yung unang copy is yung pamimigay, yung pangalawang copy personal, yung pangatlo yung nakashare sa akin. Why? Kasi yung mga shared forms po, kapag po dinilit ng original na gumawa yung forms, Madidelit po yung shinner sa inyo, hindi niyo makokopya. So you need to create forms, uh, you need to copy the form para po may sarili kayong kopya. Okay, we can also put collaborators like in Google Classroom and the rest of the Google Apps kasi may collaborations yon and the like. Okay, so I have here a sample, the, the features, no? nasa side yung features niya. The first one is you add question kung siya po ay quiz. The second one is you import questions. So, pwede po mag-import sa iyong Google Drive. Kung meron ka po dyan ang naka-word, pwede pong i-import yan. Tapos, nalagay mo lang sa Google Forms. And then, we also have the title or the description. Parang siya yung separator. Kung meron ka pong quiz, yung first 10 ay multiple choice. Yung second part naman ay enumeration. Ang magsiseparate lang po sa kanya ay itong add title or description. And then, image, add video, and then add section. Sa add section, this is the first section of your Google Form. Ito naman yung second section niya. So, kung preview natin yon ng may add section, obviously, ang, ang una mong makikita yung first section followed by the second section. Okay. So, ideally, sa quizzes, maganda to. Kunyari, yung first part mo ay concept. Magbabasa mo na ang bata and dalek. And then, second part yung exam. Pwede rin po yun. Okay? Now, punta mo na tayo dito sa first part. Tatanungin ka, des uh, form description, kung ano po ang lalagay mo. Usually, ang lalagay dito yung inyong instruction sa yung exam. Kung ano po bang exam, ang direction sa exam ang gagamitin. And the like. And then dito sa title, kung anong title ulit, kasi dalawang title na pala yung nagawa ko, no? O, ito, burahin na natin. Maglalagay tayo dito ng add question. Yan. Now, in the add question, you will type here the question. Now, you can also put images on that question. And then, you can choose from the different modes kung ano pong klase ng way ng pagdi-deliver. It can be short answer, paragraph, multiple choice. Sa checkboxes po, para siyang multiple choice, pero chinecheckan lang ng bata yung sagot. Drop down, may isang option lang na paglinik yung dalabas lahat ng option. Linear scale, multiple choice grid, tick box grid, and of course, the date and the time. Pag sinabing date and time, nandito yung element ng kung kailan, ipapas, kung kailan nalabas si form, Ah, kailan ipapasa si form at anong oras siya ipapasa? Okay. And then, you have here the answer key. Don't forget. For the answer key, may option dyan. Kiklik mo kung anong tamang sagot. Yan. And then, kung anong ilang points yon. Now, since we are talking about assessment and feedbacking is an essential part of 
um, essential part of Google, uh, assessment, you can, you, you can put their feedback. Kung mali po yung sagot ng bata, lagay mo dyan. Sa incorrect, lagay mo, try again. As you can do it para mabus yung sa ano ng bata, yung confidence ni bata. And then you can also integrate links and then um, videos sa YouTube. Para just in case mali si bata dun sa tanong, pwede niyang i-revisit yung concept using the video. Yun po yung mahalaga doon. And then kung correct answer naman, pwede may video, pwede link, lagay mo doon. Good. You may continue. Ganon. So teachers, kailangan po mahalaga na lagyan natin ng feedback ang ating mga assessment tools na gagamitin para yung mga bata, they feel motivated all the time. Okay? And then once done, you can send this one to them. And then, ang maganda lang po dito, meron tayong responses. On the second part is the responses. Since wala pa pong responses tong ginagawa natin, this is just the essentials. Um, may kita nyo po doon yung data about sa ginawa ng mga bata. Okay, let's say for example, uh, punta po tayo sa aking Google Drive. May papakita ko sa inyo yung aking ginawang test na meron ng um, scores. Kasi po, nag-online simulation class din po ako. And then, makikita nyo po doon na ay, pinapapakita ko po sa inyo na ay dito ba? Hindi. Parang sa Google Classroom ko. Sorry po. Makikita po natin na uh, yung comparison between the pre at saka post test. Okay. This is my classroom. Ito po yung yan. So, this is post-test. Example lang po, a post-test. This is my post-test. Alam ko po may responses na to. So, this is just multiple choice. Tingnan nyo po maigi. Tapos magsasagot lang po yung mga bata. I-click lang nila. Okay, I have 23 responses. Mga studyante ko po ito. Okay. And then, meron din po ako, ito po yung sa responses, as you can see, you have the summary, the question, and then the individual scores. Ang maganda lang po dito is that, may kita natin sa summary, yung data ng uh, distribution ng scores ng mga bata. And then, item analysis per item. Ilang mga bata yung nakasagot. And then, yun siya. So I have my post-test. This is my pre-test. Pre-test. My pre-test. Ayan. This is my pre-test. Post-test. What I know. I have pre-test. This is my pre-test. So ang sinimulate ko po before when I was in Manuel, nung nasa MLQ po ako and then nagpe-present ako is the comparison between the two. Alam ko may sama din natin po. Ayan. So nalalaman ko ngayon being a, uh, being a, a teacher by myself, kung effective ba yung mga tanong na nilagay ko sa aking quiz. Okay? Now, you can explore Google Docs. There are a lot of um, help that you can get or co get coming from Google about creating more and be creative more in dealing with Google Forms. Okay? Pero as a source of treat sa inyo, gumawa po ako ng sarili kong self, uh, a student assessment form sa mga natutunan nila. This is for free. Itatay, ilalagay ko na lang po, isesend ko po, and then kung may time po kayo, picture nyo yung link. Yan po yung link ng aking Google Forms. Pero dahil mas mahira po kung kakopyahin nyo lang, isesend ko po sa ating um, chat box. Okay? Asan po yung ating chat box? Wait lang po. Hanapin ko lang. Desktop 2. Chat box. Ayun. Ay, asan chat box? Q&A part. Ayan. So kung nakikita nyo po yung hinighlight ko, yan po yung um, link ng Google Forms na ginawa ko for self-assessment tool. Uh, for self-assessment ng mga sudyante for your lesson. Free ko na pong ibibigay para po 
um, makatulong sa inyo in how you will assess your class. Chat. Ayun, chat. O yan. Ito po yung link ng aking forms. You can click this one and then um, ang gagawin nyo po, i-click nyo tapos tandaan nyo po yung ginawa ko kanina. Nilagyan, nyo, nilagyan ko po dito sa gilid. Make a copy. Gawa po kayo ng copy kasi po pag na-delete ko po yung form, deleted na po siya. Ang maganda lang po dito sa form na ginawa ko is um, it's a survey. Ngayon tingnan ko, uh, ina-assess lang po dito yung kung how well yung estudyante nyo sa online class. Para po ma-assess -ma nyo rin kung nahihirapan ba sila sa inyong online class. Ako po minsan binabasa ko to, reflection na rin sa akin on how well did I execute my lesson, especially in online class. If you have any questions po, um, you can chat it later. Sir, responses po kami sa link na binigay nyo, hindi namin ma-access. Ah, okay. Siguro itong edit. Ah, okay. Sige, wait. Alam make it editable para they can oh, oh, oh. make a copy. Okay po. Um, ang gagawin ko po is doon sa ano, ma'am, di ba? Google Drive. You can change sa settings, friend. Opo, opo. Opo. Ito siya eh. Yan. Uh, share no, ma'am, no? Right? Share. And then, editable. Para makita. Ayan. One way po para mal malaman nyo kung paano mag-share. Ayan. So, iyan po ako. Owner. Tapos ito, get link. So, change po natin yung format niya. Gagawin nating editor. O magiging editor kayo. Ito po yung link niya. Ay, wait. Sorry po. Yan. Change. Okay. Copy link. Copy. Ito po. Yan. Sharing. So you can have my um, personalized form. Lagay nyo lang po siya or pwede nyo pong gamitin in your classes. Okay, with that, marami pong salamat. Now, may I turn on my presentation to my partner, Ma'am Vivian, take it away. Hi, thank you. Uh, yung ano po, once uh, you get into the link given by Sir Mata, um, you can make a copy. Just click the button dun sa right side. and then, in three dots. Yeah. Uh, make a copy. Tapos, you can have it your own. So, pwede yes. na pasan. So, you can make use of uh, Sir Raynette's template. Okay. Kasi po, matalas, ma'am, yun yung tinatanong nila. Bakit daw po nabubura? Kasi hindi sila gumagawa ng copy. Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. At saka, para hindi, ano, from time to time, um, from time to time, you will create your main name, may ganyan. So, para, para one time ka lang nag-create, uh, nag tapos uh, you can just replace it. So, gumawa ka na ng template mo. So, in that case, medyo at uh, time, ano siya, uh, time saving ba? Yes po. Okay. So, di ba sir, papagawin natin muna sila ng sample nila ngayon, kahit two questions. Yes, ma'am. Pero uh -oh. mamaya na lang, ma'am. Ay, hindi na natin siya makikita. Eh, di ba kukuha tayo ng dalawang ano? <laughs> dalawang maunang magpapakita sa iyo yung the same ng ginawa mo. Opo, opo, opo. Uh, so gawa muna sila, sir. Hindi ka muna ba magpe-present muna, ma'am, para isang uh, bagsakan. Para diretso. Oo, kasi para after na. Katulad ng ginawa natin last time. Sige po. Para diretso ha. Uh, opo, sige, sige ma'am. Go. So bale gawa po sila na sample? Yes, oo. Okay. Ah, uh, Using yung, yung same na ginawa ni sir, you can create your questions, at least two, two questions, and then send the link so Sir Raynet will uh, show to everyone what you have done. Uh, I should share them. So send the link here. Yung makakatapos, um, the first two will again uh, receive a gift from us. Uh, yung, yung same na... A format or or maganda pa you, you create your own images mga ganon uh, make at least two questions tapos um send us the link share us the link here type it in here sa ating chat box okay so habang naantay namin uh, we will be uh, 
answering questions if there are with regards to Google Forms and um, yes po. Yung link po um as ano po as ano pa rin po siya as attendees ang ano as respondent po yung ano lumalabas po. Ah, oh, pwedeng dito dito saan? Ay, alin yung link ni sir? Ah, po, ah, po. Ay, naayos ko po, sir. Sige, don't you worry. Okay, Send ko po ngayon. Oo, oh, oh, oh. For the meantime, habang yung naayos sa sir, oh, uh, oh, sir, try the settings dun sa mismong, ano, mismong Google Form. May yung settings, tapos yung pangatlong tab. I-ano mo oh, siya oh. na, na pwede siyang masin ng viewer. Kasi hmm. pag sin siya ng viewer, it means whatever you have prepared, prepared uh, that will be seen by the respondents. Eh, since the respondents will be um, accessing it, they should know what is inside kung paano siya ginawa. Okay. Para maki- they can make a copy. Sige, wait lang po. Sige. While we are waiting for okay, ma'am, ano, uh, opo. the new format ni Sir, para dun sa kanyang sample na template, na magandang template na pinakita kanina, may we request everyone to please uh, try creating at least two questions using your Google Form and then share it to our chat box here. Kasi we practice how we, we, we put questions there, how we use it, and then practice yung, yung pag-share. Yun yung gusto natin makita, no? So, copy, share, copy the link. So, bali may nag-send po. Uh, may naunang nag-send kung tama ako sa akin nakita. Uh, mas nauna po si Sir Ray, Raymundo. Si Sir Raymundo. Sir po yung naunang mag-send. Open, open ko po ba yung kanya? Oh, sige po. Oh, quiz ang ano natin, mga friends. Ha? Quiz. Quiz na gagamitin kasi assessment tayo. no Think of um, uh, assessment questions that you have. No? Mga previous nyo na nagawa. Or, or nasa stock knowledge natin. The questions that we would like to ask to our students to assess their learning. Uh, think about it and then make a Google form. Just two questions if you can. Tingnan natin yung kay Sir Raymundo Sereno. Ayun. Ginamit ni Sir Raymundo na yung kanya, yung kay Sir, Sir Mata eh. Okay, Sir Raynet. So, make your own po muna tayo. Make your own. Okay po. Kaya Balim, natin, yung si Ma- ibang layout po yung titignan po natin. Oo. Ibang okay. layout titignan natin. Ayun. So, meron si Ma'am Rhea May Gallego. Uh, gumawa siya ng breathing system na... Anong subject ito, ma'am? Email address, complete name, section, female, and then my next siya. Halimbawa, so anong gagawin ni breathing system? Okay. Ah, alright. Science nga naman. <laughs> Para akong di science teacher. <laughs> Sorry naman. Nakala ko may iba. <laughs> Tinuturo din yung breathing system. Mali natin, yoga pala yung ano, kaya breathing system. Okay, sa so mape pala siya, no? Alright, so, yeah. Okay. So, si Ma'am Rhea, nagpadala ng kanyang sample. Meron pa ba tayong iba? Sir David po. David, pangala po siya nag-send. Oo, oh, okay. lang ay open, Sir David. Ano, it's all about survey, eh, ng something. Oh, so, we're looking for for quiz, for for any assessment tool. Sino pa nakita mo dyan, Sir AJ? Um, check ko po yung... Ah, ito po, yung kay Sir... Um, wait lang. Si Sir Robert Saluna. Quiz po yung kanyang sinend po talaga. So, uh, try kong uh, i-share. Kung kilala ko itong mga nagsisend na to, ah. <laughs> uh, kilala. Uh, Sir, Sir Robert Saluna, nasa yung kanyang work? Ito po. Ipakita ko sa... Sure. Ito yung kanyang sample form. Okay. Uh-oh. Yan. So, bali ito. Yan. So, okay din. Yan. Yan. Mga naka-required naman yung mga tanong. So, good Uh-oh. siya. Okay. So, what is good in here, alam naman ng karamihan na, no, that in Google Forms, you can make use of this tool to really have your quiz. No? So, mamaya, magpa-practice pa kayo mamaya ang hapon um, as part of our output. Okay. Um, ipapakita na sa Raynet how will it be done para maging uh, available siya for copying ng iba. Kasi mamaya, mag-share tayo. We are going to have a sharing of of ano, assessment tools that will be done as output. Eh, para 
para lahat makaka-access nun. Kasi if that's only a link, that will only be good for answering. Um, okay. Si Sir. So we got, uh, Ma'am Rhea, we got from from Sir ano, no? Robert Saluna. Mm -hmm. Oo, from Raha Suleiman. Hi, Sir Robert. Um, uh, after po ni Sir Robert, may kasunod po siya nag-send. Si Ma'am um, Trisha May Rivera. Check ko po yung kanya. Yes po, mukhang quiz type po yung kanya. Two questions. Ito po yung kanya. Yan. Bali, dalawang question lang. O unang pagsubok sa Filipino. Ayun. Anong name niya, sir? Sir, uh, ma'am, saba yun. Um, check ko lang po. Chat. Trisha May Rivera. Siya po yung kasunod ni sir kanina na nag-send. Okay. So, I'm sure yung iba nagtatry din ngayon. Uh, Iko-continue din po natin mamaya. So, ilang seconds na lang. We will just wait for the last Uh, instructions from Ma Sir Mata. Mamaya nila siguro, ma'am, yung ano po, yung output nila. Sabay-sabay nilang once you are done with your presentation. Uh -huh. Pero nakapag-show na sila ng output, so we were able to Opo, see three uh, outputs. Okay, mamaya kasi meron pa tayong instructions about it. Opo, ma'am. Yung, yung ano, sir, pakita natin sa kanila mamaya, yung how will it be shareable kasi Uh, para maka-create ng copy. Doon sa yes, setting ka. O, para Opa. makita nila. Okay. So, for the meantime, so, assessment, usapang assessment pa rin tayo to continue with. We are going to try naman if we will assess uh, group, uh, make a collaborative uh, work, no, as a form of assessment. So, kakabukas ko ng screen na wala na yung presentation ko. Wait lang, ha. Okay. So, I have here, so we can make use, Google has, um, Google Education has many apps that we can use for collaboration. And one of that which we can use to assess learning is the Google Slide. Napakadaming ano ng Google Slide. You can also make a creator class app using Google Slide. You can also create choice boards. No, house pareho lang siya ng, ng, ng way ng paggawa. Uh, all you need to do is to just be creative lang, no? For group, we will try group assessment. So, how are we going to do it? Uh, let's say, for example, may pinabasa, may pinanood sa bata, and that will not stop there. We have to ask questions to find out if we, if the students understood what they have watched or what they have read, okay? And we can do that. Kung gusto yung collaborative, we can do that using our Google slide. Okay, so uh, let us first have this. Asan na ba yung aking? Ayan. Talagang nawala siya. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, so we will have our group work now. So I am going to share a, I am going to share um, a, a link and then it's at the chat box. I want you all to to um, access it and then answer, okay? Copy ko lang, all right. So once you're there, okay, nandito siya, all right. So hindi ko na siya ginawang tiny, no, na URL, pero most likely, mas maganda if you can do a tiny link of that para for easy access ng mga bata. All right, please, uh, everyone, may I uh, invite everyone to please join the Google link, slide link that I have uh, presented here. I posted it here in our chat box. And ayon, so, yan, marami nang pumasok, pero hindi ko siya na-share. Share natin. Okay, nasaan na siya? Tingnan natin kung makikita nyo ang aking screen. Okay. Sir, nakikita po yung screen natin? Mm, yes po, ma'am. Yes po. All right. Entire so, screen. Now, okay. Uh, Google Slide is a good, uh, very efficient tool for collaboration. So, it can be done synchronously or asynchronously. No, kahit wala pang pandemya, uh, ginagamit na rin to ng mga teachers natin na iba. Okay. So, lalo pa ngayon na, na we want to ensure that our students are working together 
we can make use of this one. So my instruction here now to test a sample is, um, kunwari na, na, nag-read kayo or nag-watch ng a documentary film. Okay, now, the question is, who are the modern day, day heroes? No, for you, who are the modern day heroes? Okay, so it's 10 sa mga reflections, kunwari natin. Now, so, uh, teachers from District 2, please use uh, the slide number 2. Uh, District 1 pala. Teachers from District 2 will use slide number 3 and so on and so forth. What you can do is to type in your answer or you can also insert images. So this is just like a PowerPoint presentation. You can make use of the insert tool here for the images. You can upload from your computer or search from the web. For text box, if you want to write something, you write it in here. So share kayo kung sino man kayong mga teachers na with us in our workshop and then you belong to district two um use slide number three so there is a particular slide for a specific um a specific district so mapa junior kayo or senior please use that if you want to put in your name you can also write your name so you can make use of the different menu or tools here Marami tayo dito, uh, insert image, insert text box. Okay, so if you, can, if you are viewing in my screen sa ating sa inyong laptop, makikita nyo, uh, may mga participants tayo na nasa bawat slide na. So they are here na, no? Okay, ayan. So pwede, you can also insert video if you want. You can just use the insert uh, tool here. And then insert video. Okay, so para sa answer nyo. So you can you can tell your students not to limit only from text. They can also incorporate um, uh, pictures, uh, ano mang, ano, no, basa, ma-show nila yung kanilang thoughts about the modern day heroes. Okay. All right, so. Ayan. Ang ating District 1, mayroon ang nagsagot. No? Isang sagot natin, fellow Filipinos who support uh, locally made products are heroes. Okay, so that that is an acceptable answer, of course. If you want to make your students um, work collaboratively on halimbawa, magbobrosure sila or, or campaign for a COVID-19 halimbawa as part of your lesson, you can also make use of um, Google Slide for them to work on a particular project. Okay, how to do it? Paano siya gagawin? Sige, let us now show how it is done. So, tinan nga natin, ilan na ba ang ating mga gumagawa? So, hanggang... Ayan, syempre, for your purpose, it's up to you how many slides do you want to provide for your students. No? Uh, pwedeng yan halimbawa, meron kayong synchronous uh, discussion for the week. E eh, syempre nga, nagtitipid tayo sa data kasi we have to to maximize the use of our data. So siguro you can just tell your students to, alright, at the time natin 9.30, you will just give the link sa kanila mga FB chat group. Tapos mag-work sila dyan, together. For 30 minutes, kunwari. No? So, kunwari, meron kayong nag, uh, you also Make use of the flip classroom if you're familiar with that. Sa inyong Google Classroom, a day before of your synchronous discussion, ang bata ay pinapanood nyo ng something about your lesson. And then for your discussion tomorrow sa synchronous, pwedeng dito na kayo, hindi na kayo mag-video. You can see answers ng mga bata. No? They can also download their uh, a Google Slide app para mas, ano, mas efficient yung kanilang... Uh, kasi pag... pag pag browser na sa laptop, uh, hindi naman laptop yung hawak ng ating mga sasyante. So, they can also do that sa kanilang mga tablet. Okay? At ang tablet naman ay hindi naman ganun kaliit. So, so uh, still, they can still work um, efficiently. At, at ang mga bata pa natin, makaka-adjust yan ng, ng sobra ng, sa paggamit ng kanilang gadget. Okay, so if you can see on my screen, may mga sumagot na sa atin, sa District 2, si Ma'am Let, Let, Let. Wow, from Hi, Ma'am Let! 
Uh, oh, si Ayan. So we also have answers from District 4 from CMRHS Senior High School. Ayan. Okay. So paano natin to gagawin? Okay. First, of course, you have to uh, open your Google Slides. So sa mga nasa browser, no, I'll show. Yung iba, yun ba nakakaalam na ito? Pwede yung diretso ito para pakita rin natin mamaya. Alright, how will you do an activity in a Google Slide? No? So, pwedeng uh, you get the Google Slide, open it from your drive, tapos click the new, no? and then look for the Google Slide here. Okay, this is just like your PowerPoint presentation then. No? And, um, yan, so meron siyang... Medyo bumabagal lang ang aking connection. Ayan. Okay, you can also insert different slide. New slide. New slide. If you want them to, parang meron ka ng template, you can also change your your page here. Pwede rin. No? Kaya lang ako, mas gusto ko yung ganito ng itsura niya. Pero, you can always create no sa inyong file. You can always uh, change the page up setting here if you want it to make a uh, wider, wider kasi ito. If you want to make a brochure, kunwari type, you just also change the page setup. No? I would like to invite those who are not yet familiar with the Google Slide to just navigate, uh, explore what is on the file. This is just the same as your, your, ano, your PowerPoint presentation. Yung iba, no? ibang mga ano natin, features dito. Pero yung mga common editing tools are just the same. So sa edit, kung ano yung undo, redo, view, Insert. So, ito usually ang gamit na gamit natin. Insert and then a slide. No? Yung format will only um, be accessible once you already highlighted text or images that you want to format. So, hanggat hindi kayo nag-highlight, hindi siya magiging accessible. Okay, so you can already prepare a slide that is for your, um, for your students to work on, just like what I did with, with your group work ngayon. Okay? Uh, do not forget to write your title kasi lahat ng ginagawa nyo, just like what Sir Raynet said, lahat ng ginagawa nyo under ng Google uh, using your, your Gmail account will be, um, will be directly uh, saved sa inyong um, Google Drive. So it will be directed to your Google Drive. So kapag wala siyang title, malilito pa kayo. But if you will write your title, it, it will be easier for you to access your file once you go back to that file. Anong ano nyo, kunwari, um, assessment, group assessment number one. Okay, kasi ito yung number one nila. Okay? Uh, if this is for the whole class, you can also do this per group. One file per group, okay lang din. But if you want to see all the whole, the whole uh, work of your class, you can just pro provide them with specific slide per group. So they will just work on specific slide. Let's say, for example, your first, um, your first instruction is here. Just like what I did kanina. All you have to do is to insert text box. Okay? Insert text box. And then you write your instructions for your instructions. No? If you want to change the, the font size, you can also do that. Just the same as what you're doing with, your, with our PowerPoint presentation. All you have to do is to highlight whatever words or pictures that you want to um, format. Okay, so not in sections. Ayan, one, two, three. You can also change your um design ng inyong mga themes no you can upload themes pwede maging black yan para dahil naging black ito gagawin ko siyang white okay so gawin natin siyang white all right so assuming i have already finished kasi baka buti naman ako pag baka ma-engross ako mag-design ano <laughs> um Kunain natapos ko na yung yung platform yung uh, work file ng aking bata for their group assessment. So I want to share it to their Google Classroom. Okay, I want to share it to to I can share it also to their um uh, FB na no? kung saan siya gustong i-share. Uh, all you have to do, ayo maalis ng aking screen. 
Okay, all you have to do is to click share. Nakikita po ba ito? Click share. Okay. So, if you would like to share it to people or groups using email, you can use this um, tool. Ito, no? Kung, kung email. Pero, dahil link lang kukunin nyo, all you have to do is to get the link, go to the section of get the link, and click it. Okay? Ngayon, uh, Siyempre, kung ano yung, ano mo, do not make it restricted. It must be anyone with the link. And then since the students will be working on it, it must be clicked to editor. So, mention viewer, commenter, and editor. If you want the students to work with the, for the file or on the file, you have to click the word editor. Okay? Once you are done, do not forget to copy. Sometimes, no, nung... nung one time, uh, I've trained teachers, ma'am, kahit anong copy ko, wala eh. Sige, kung hindi naman lumalabas, eh kasi kiniklik agad yung done. So be sure you click the work, copy link before you click done. Again, get the share, uh, press the share button once you are in this kind of dialog box. Change the restriction part on anyone with the link. Change the option to editor if the students will be working on that. And then copy link and then click the word done. And then you can post it to your um, learning management system or to your uh, chat box. Just like here, I would like to... Nawala yung aking chat box here. Ah, ito. Okay, kunwari ipip i... Yan. Kunwari, ipopost ko lang ha. Sample lang ito. Okay. So, if you wanna make it um, tiny, baka meron pa pong hindi nakakaalam, no? Nung kung paano ka will, you, will you shorten your your uh, link, all you have to do, para medyo hindi siya messy, all you have to do is to go to tiny.url. Meron pang iba, may deped.ini, pero you have to log in. Mer you have to sign up sa deped.ini. Meron ding, um bit bit.ly no so ito tiny url very common so all you have to do is to enter the long copy paste the long here okay and then make tiny url and then you will just copy so this will be available for your students and then put this in your chat box or you put this in your google classroom or kung ano man yung ginamit mong learning management system or virtual learning environment okay so that's how you will create your your um assessment tool using uh slide uh, google slide you know, for group assessment or that can also be for for your students you know, individual work you know, good for making authentic assessments like posters uh, group discussions uh, ano pa ba? Uh, Gagwasa ng banners, no? mga campaign materials. Okay, so pwede rin dyan, no? Okay, may question? Masyado po bang mabilis? Okay, I think the recordings of this um, webinar session will be available to everyone. Tama ba ako, sir? Uh, pwede natin balikan. Pero just always remember when you are in an online uh, or, or working in an online platform, all you have to do is to click whatever you can click. Pero siyempre, babasahin before, think before you, you click, uh, read before you click. So, lalo kung nandito kayo sa Google Education na uh, apps, mga Google Education na mga ano natin, like Google Slide, na so pwede yan. Um, click nyo lang, then undo. Diba? Where will you get the undo? Here. No? So, ganito lang. Okay? So may mga nag 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 enter ng ating ano na no ng ating uh, group assessment number 1 so tinry nila kinik nila ibig sabihin it's available for everyone for everyone with the link. So that's how the Google slide is used for your group assessment or it can also be used for individual assessment. Okay, tingnan nga natin ginawa kanina. Wow. All right, so these are your work. Uh, let's try to present this. O, diba? Ito yung mga ginawa ng bawat isa. Okay. Okay. Very good. O, diba? 
o di how much more ano kung malaki laki tayo ng mga bata so again you can do this uh, synchronously or asynchronously bakit na wala ah, wala na pala four no so this is four isa lang ang nagparticipate na, na uh, isa lang siguro naka-access sa district 4. District 3, ang dami. Okay. Alright. District 2, ayan yung, yung work ng District 2. District 1, ayan then Thank you very much sa mga nag-participate. Okay. So, mamaya pong hapon, you will try your your own. You will make, no, not try, but you will make your own assessment using this. Pwede nyo lang gawin siya ng template para anong gagawin ng bata. Okay. Sa, sa inyong, ano, sa inyong uh, work dito. Okay. So, another one that I will create, uh, sandali lang ha, lobat na pala ako, is the use of choice board naman dito sa ating, ano, sa ating, uh, ano ba to? Sa ating Google Slide. Uh, this is an example of choice board. So, I would like to share this to you para you will see how it looks like. And then I'll show you how to do it. Uh-huh. Okay. So choice board can also be used for online assessment using Google Slide pa din. Okay. Na paki-check nga po if you can access that one. If it is in a presentation mode. Okay, and choice board kasi should be like this no? once you create this one. So, may clickable siya. Let's say, for example, clickable siya sa lesson one. No? Halimbawa, ito, uh, nandun na yung video or kung kayo may lecture kayo dito sa side na to, then you have your questions. Okay? And then, meron din siyang uh, button na back to main menu para I will go to my main board. And then here is my lesson 2 naman. Kunwari, titignan ng bata si lesson 2. Okay, meron siyang video. And then my question. Kasi ito yung lesson ko. So ikaw, for whatever you want to put there in your choice boards, para i-assess yung bata no, sa learning nila. Pwedeng diagram dito and then you have your questions. No, this is one of the features ng Google Slide that you can use choice board. Okay, back to main menu. And then let's go. And then... Okay, so again, either either this one or um, just a lesson. Ito kasi video para mas madali yung presentation ko. Okay, so now, um, how to do it? Now, again, uh, this will be available for the students na review ng bata. Tapos may mga questions kayo. Uh, Google slide pa rin to, ha? Uh -huh. So... Let us, all right, so working, ano naman na tayo? Nandun itong video natin. Okay. All right, how to do it, no? So, just a simple sharing lang ng link to and insert video, insert. Yun lang ang mga kailangan natin. So, um, kunwari, okay, I, I chose um, pictures here. I got it from the internet, yung mga pictures. So, to insert picture that you want to do, all you have to do is to click insert and then image. So since I, I got it from the web, so I click search the web, okay, upload from the computer. Kasi minsan din na-download ko na no, para mag mabilis the download. So na-create ko na siya halimbawa. Okay. Create ko na siya halimbawa. And then I would like to write here for my lesson one. And then nandun na yung mga questions na ilalagay ko. Okay, so create, magte-text box lang kayo, right? Um, insert text box and then write lesson one. Kinlik si lesson one. And then you have to um, highlight si lesson one. And then click insert. Click link. Okay. Ang link ko na nasa lesson one, yung slide number two. Okay. So I have to click slide number two and apply. Kasi bakit? E content ko siya eh. Alright. So, para once um, the students will will click lesson one, o halimbawa, ano to, quiz number one. Okay, quiz number one. So, para halimbawa, na once na nag, ano na sila, na nag-click sila dyan, makikita nila yung quiz, no? Kung meron kayong video dyan and, and all that. So, pag present mo yan, dahil nilagay mo yung link, clickable si lesson number one, 
pupunta siya dun sa slide number two. Okay? And then, sa aking slide number two, after they read something about here or they answered something, answered questions here on this slide, they have to go back kasi to their, to the second one, ano, to, to the, they have to go back to the main board. This is my main board. Okay, so what I did is to, I wrote here or I type in back to main board and then I highlight again the word main board and then insert the link, insert, insert link and the link here is the first slide. So ibig sabihin, babalik si bata, babalik yung, yung nag access sa first slide, then click apply. Kaya when it is in a presentation mode, kasi once you share the link, it will be in a presentation mode. No, after the students will access that, they will go back to their main board. Okay? So, sa lesson 2, itong aking clickable na lesson 2, I again uh, put in here the image. Siyempre kayo, mas magaling kayong gumawa ng image sa akin. Sa totoo lang, to be honest, I'm not good in layouting. Before, mag mabusisi ako dyan eh. But, but because of many things na ginagawa ko sa buhay ngayon, lalo sa ating mga, mga work sa school, Medyo hindi na ako mabusisi. As, mas kung ano yung simple yun ng akin. Pero I'm sure mas madami kayo magagawa with the insert image natin. Ano? Um, so again, you have to, when you write something uh, na, na ikiklik, halimbawa lesson to or quiz number two, all you have to do is to highlight, tinipe ko siya, and then insert. Okay, insert. Link. No? E yung, itong lesson two, ang makikita ng bata is from slide number three. So all you, all you have to do is to click slide number three and then apply. Okay, I'll show you another one. No? Let's say for example, we will type in here. Uh, okay. okay um, so let's say for example, ay. okay, let's say for example, um, this will be Masum natin, teka lang. Okay. So let's say for example, gagawa ko ng panibago, lesson number 4. So all I have to do, bakit ka lumalabas? Okay. Okay, so kakapi ko lang yung ating image. Again, if you want to create your own image, you can do that. Pwede kayo mag-insert ng mga emojis and all that. Tapos, susulatan ko siya kunwari ng lesson number four. Kaya quiz number, quiz number five or item number five. Quiz five. Para pareho na lang lesson number four. Okay, sa lesson number four, so andyan na, in-edit in edit lang ng konti. Okay, and then, I want it to be clickable. So, syempre, yung lesson three ko, ito yung four. Uh, ito yung lesson three, nasa slide number four. Okay, so gagawa ako ng panibago para makita ninyo. So, slide. Okay, so halimbawa, all right. So, ang lesson 4 ko will be from slide number 5. Kasi when you see, when you look at the button, when you click lesson number 3, if you're going to make the presentation available, lesson number 3, you copy it. Ay, you copy. You, you click it. Okay, let's present again. Okay, lesson number 3, when you click it, you will be, the student will be directed to the slide where I intended to for the lesson number three, halimbawa. Okay, then andyan yung mga questions ko na itatanong, right? And then, uh, pag gusto nang pumunta sa unahan, back to main board. Alright? So, one, two, three. So, gawin uli natin sa lesson number four. So, nag-insert ako, nag-design ako, then I inserted my word, lesson number four. And then, insert link. So, ang link niya will be slide number 5. No, dahil wala pa ako nasa slide number 5, kailangan ko muna maglagay. Hindi, hindi kasi siya 
magiging available. So let's say, for example, mag insert ako ng image na upload from computer. Kuha tayo ng image sa ating picture lang, halimbawa, no? Okay, kunwari ito. Ayan, magpipicture lang, no? Sample lang natin. Okay, so kunwari, this will be my next question. Alright, so ilagay ko dyan. And then, I would like to ask some questions regarding that lesson. So, insert text box. Write your questions. Question number one, number two, number three. Okay, so tapos na kunwari yung question. And then, I will insert text box again. Right here, back to main main board. Kasi, hindi makakabalik yung bata. Okay. Alright, so once they, uh, again, you have to highlight this one. And then, insert link. Siyempre, babalik yung bata sa first slide. Okay, then apply. Right, babalik lang ko ngayon yung aking slide number one on lesson number four. Okay, again, highlight the word lesson number four. And then, insert, choose the word link. Okay, slide number five. Alright, so available na si slide number five. Again, insert link slide in this presentation. Slide number five. Ay, hindi ko makuita si slide number five. Okay, slide number five siya dapat. Alright, so insert link. Okay, last slide. Apply. Okay, that's why when you make it available for presentation, when you share it, the students will click it. And then the students will be directed to your slide for that lesson. So again, back to main board. So that is what you call choice board. You can make use of that for your activities and assessment. Okay, so choice board. Um, of course, how you are going to share it again to your Google Classroom, make it available for presentation, share it. Get the link, anyone with the link, and then choose the word viewer only so that students will view it and make a copy. Okay? Copy link and then done. And then post it to your Google Classroom or to your chat box. Again, that is what you call choice board. You can use that for your assessment. So ngayon, gumagalan siguro yung, yung imagination natin on how are you going to use this for your assessment. Okay, uh, make it clickable. Now, you can, you can change the sizes of the uh, presentation. Pwedeng brochure type, pwedeng type na sa mga class apps nga ginagawa siyang uh, parang size ng cellphone, mga 9 by 14. So, uh, you can just have the uh, file and then page set up. Okay? So, that's another... A uh, thing that you can do for assessment using your Google Slide, no? Isa pang mga collaborative work, halimbawa, mag-data mag gathering yung bata, you can make use of um, uh, Google Slide, uh, Google Sheets naman, no? Kunwari, may mga i-assess nyo yung, yung ability ng bata to collect, to collect data using experiments or or anumang mga skills, no? you can make use of that. Lalo pagka-group work. Ganun lang parate, share it. No? Always have this share button that is very much powerful. Kasi that will create the link between you and the students who are away from you. Na they will still access whatever you want to share it to them. Okay? Alright. And um, we still have time. The last one that I'm going to show you unless you have questions. May questions ba tayo about this? Iiwan na ko muna si Google at mag-create naman tayo ng iba pa nating mga mga ano um, okay, mga ibang ano natin, samples. Okay, another one. Alright, a minute lang ha kasi 
baka bigla akong mawala sa harapan ninyo dahil nag-off na yung aking laptop. Okay. Right. Ayan. Okay. So, the next tool that I want to share to everyone is um, an engaging, fun and engaging online assessment tool which is known as the Flippity. Last time, nag-discuss nag ako if you want para sa mga grade 7, lalo na grade 8. Uh, EduCandy is one of the the engaging game then, no? Na you can create may mga words doon. Siguro papakita ko din yung EduCandy. Uh, you go to EduCandy.com That is another online tool that you can use, mga engaging games no, to assess learning. So all you have to do is to sign in. Tapos you will create an account. Once you create an account, you will be directed to creating activities. These are already template. May word search, nuts and crosses, crosswords, and hangman. Okay, these are free. But again, for more complicated and level up uh, applications, may premium. But we can make use of the hangman, crosswords, and word search already. So if you want to include that to assess yung, for your assessment, you can just go to educandy.com. Okay? Uh, it's very fun, very anian, user anian friendly. So you can uh, type in, just type in your answers, uh, questions and answers, of course. Okay, next one is hindi ko access ang flippity. Okay, all right. Next one is flippity.net. Okay, so flippity.net. This has so many uh, tools that you can use, okay? Mga games siya, sort of game na mag, mag, instead of yung quiz mo ay just parang traditional quiz na one to five and all that. You can use this for assessment. Like etong flashcards, hindi lang naman to for math ang flashcards eh. The first thing that you need to do is to go to flippity.net and this will be available already. May mga template. So like for example, if you will use flashcard. Okay, meron ditong demo instructions and template. Okay, so just click the template. Make a copy of the document. Ayan, so naglo-load pa siya. So meron ding mga uh, Jeopardy games. Um, dahil napakadami ko nang naka-open. Ayan. PLDT, please be careful. Sabi naman daw, may connectivity pa tayo para siguro yung quality will be affected. And PLDT, tomorrow pa yata. Ngayon daw yung mga um, mga sky. Sky cable yata na. Okay, anyway. Uh, going back to FlipPT. So, para makakreate kayo ng flashcards. Yung FlipPT kasi, puro template na to. All you have to do is to change. Change kung ano yung naandito sa ano nila. Like this one, these are already template to nakikita nyo, capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, blue. You don't have to change the format. All you have to do is to type in. Let's say, for example, sa multiplication table para sa mga math, talagay nyo, uh, square root of 2, <laughs> square root of 2, square root of, ano, kung whatever is that, no? 5 times 5, so lalagay nyo dyan, and then yung answer. Okay, answer ito sa slide 2 ang answer. And then you can change the color, something like that, no? So, kapag nandiyan na yung template, you can erase that. Yes, you can erase that. Then, uh, you just share the link to your students. So, get the link. Let's say, for example, tapos na kayong mag-discuss, ano? O, punta kayo ngayon, nasa Google Classroom nyo, ilalagay nyo siya. O kaya, uh, synchronous chat. Ang gagawin yung discussion. Kasi nga, yung video, masyadong mag-consume ng data. Uh, you still want to assess their learning. So, pwede to right then and there. Nandoon ito, you, you copy. Okay? Pero bago nyo siya i-copy pala, so balik kayo dyan, you have to publish. So, you can, again, you can change this one and then publish. You have to click file and then publish to the web. Be sure you click the word publish. Alright? And then okay. Uh, minsan kasi hindi gumagana yung part na yan. So, you can go to get the link here and then copy the link. Then you can go to, if you want to try it, you can paste it to your URL. 
sa bar ninyo, yan ngayon ang itsura ng inyong flashcard. Okay? Kanina, capital of Malaysia. Diba? So, ipiplay ng bata ito. Capital ng Malaysia. Ito yung answer niya. Okay. And then, year of... So, self-paced ito na assessment niyo sa mga bata. Uh, la largest animal on earth. Oh, ayan ngayon. Ano? Okay. Let's try another one. Mm -hmm. Try pa rin natin. Halimbawa, itong uh, flippity scavenger hand. Okay. Um, all you have to do again is to click the template and then click make a copy of document. And then once you are already in the document, you can change. No? Change this one. Halimbawa, lagay natin dito. Uh, Dahil ako'y science, maglalagay ako nuwari, symbol, symbol of hydrogen. Ano symbol ng hydrogen? H. Diba? Okay. Pwedeng may hint kayo, pwedeng wala. Okay lang din yan na wala. Kunwari, lagay natin dito, symbol of um, oxygen. Parang pinakamadali na nilagay ko eh, no? Oxygen. Oh, the answer here is O. And then you can do a lot of things then sa mga iba, no? Okay, so again, what will you do? Click File and then Publish to the Web and then click the word Publish. Click the word OK. Alright, and then get the link here. Go to get the link here. Copy. Yan, no? So, kakaklik nyo, nandun lang din naman siya. Copy the link. And then you can type in your URL box. So, ito ngayon ang ma-access ng bata. Okay, let's have question number one. Symbol of hydrogen. Uh, Di ba? Letter H. Okay. Para ma-unlock yung key. Right? Babalik dun sa ano. Symbol number two. Ay, question number two. Kunwari ba, malian natin. Gawin nating W. Oh, di ba hindi malalak, ma-unlock. So, itatama natin ngayon. Okay, and so many pa, no? Kasi ito, hindi natin ito ginalaw kanina eh. O, sa mga math ito. O, di ba? Mga guys, syempre, ayoko nang pahirapan yung sarili ko. Kaya, kaya, I will just skip. So, this is how Flippity uh, works. Okay? Very, very easy. So, you can just, again, um, choose which one is best for you to use for your lesson for assessment no game fun game ito sa mga bata ito ngang flippity random name picker this is very good eh kasi if you are having your discussion online you, if you want to make sure that they are all listening to you make this one your random name picker alam nila natatawagin yung pangalan nila i enter mo lang dito yung kanilang mga names tapos make it available nakalagay sa screen mo nakikita ng bata. So, once you have your discussion, alam nila na lalabas yung name nila anytime. So, that is good. Um, so, that's it. So, these are some of the games that you can use uh, synchronously or asynchronously as a tool for assessing um, the student's learning. Okay? So, I think um, that's it. Any more questions? Do we have questions? I hope may mga nag-try sa atin. Kung maraming ini-insert na slides sa link, pwede po ba yun? Ang ini-insert na slides sa link, yung sa choice board po ba ito? Uh, yung sa choice board po, uh, as long as it is in your, ano, as long as it is in your um, slide, kung hanggang ilan yung slide, napakadaming slide dun, pwede po yun. Okay, pwedeng pwede. All right, so you've learned um, Paul Everywhere. That's also the same as the Mentimeter. Uh, natuto rin tayo ng quizzes ngayong araw na to. Um, naglaro din kayo ng quizzes and you've seen the difference between quizzes and Kahoot. So almost the same yan ng the way you create your, your online games or as form ng assessment mo. Um, all you have to do is to create an account, type in once you're in, Type in your questions and then ready for you the presentation to your classes. Both of these, this can be used as synchronous no, na, na way or 
self-paced ng bata, just share the link to your Google Classroom. Okay? And, um, okay. And then, uh, what else? You've also learned how, how to make use of the Google Slide for collaborative um, work, no? group work ng bata natin, for assessment. Okay? So, meaning, this can be used for activities and this can be used also, these tools can be used to assess. So, whatever your discussion for the day, be sure you will make, you will include assessment. No? Kasi, nonsense ang lesson natin if you will not assess, if they got or learned, kahit na asynchronously. Okay? Kahit na asynchronously. And you've learned also yung mga games natin like Edu Candy, uh, what else? Yung Flippity, napakadami niyan. Okay, na may mga binanggit din kaming iba't iba pang tools na you can try it on your own. Okay? Very, very, uh, very, very fun and engaging way for our students. Even up to senior high school, you can pick out some of the tools that I have mentioned in creating portfolio, in creating your, in creating mga academic papers, no? lalo sa mga higher levels natin, grade 10 to grade 12. Now you can try yung mga different uh, tools that I have mentioned. All right, any more question? Makikita din po ba ang scores ng students? Yes, yeah, sila makikita nila sa ibang mga. Kasi scores, like for example, if they played flippity, kung ilan yung, yung ano nila, yung ilan yung nabuksa, na open, na unlock, na, na padlocks, oh, that corresponds to their scores. Okay, so makikita yon nila, no, lalo pag self-paced ito. Okay? Pag mga games na ganyan, mostly, these are not really for, ano, for, for recordings na natin para graded. No? For them to assess din yung kung hanggang saan yung natutunan ng bata ngayon. And we're making it in a fun way. Kaya we are, um, we are inviting you to use this kind of um, tools, lalo at self-paced ang mga bata natin ngayon. Okay. Ma'am, downloadable po ba ang results scores ng learners na Flippity? Uh, parang hindi. Hindi siya kasi mga games ito, mga friends din. Eh, no? um, I haven't tried the premium one even sa mga, sa mga Edu Candy and ano kasi parang I've, I've, I've read sa mga ano ng, na pwede yung may, may personalize pero it's on a premium one na eh. So, so ako, kung ano lang yung easy reach nating lahat, lalo't available for free, I go for that. Okay. Okay po. Any more? Any more questions? I think si Sir, Sir Raynet, meron pa po ba kayong idadagdag for... Ang tanong, paano po magiging premium account sa mga apps? Meron sila dong ano, meron sila lagi dong purchase. Okay, merong purchase. So... If it's if it's um if it's not that much expensive, uh, I'm sure there are teachers who are willing to spend for that. Because, ako dante dahil lalo na kapag it only calls for nakakapag kapinga ako ng almost two hundred pesos. Say, tapos ang monthly is only five hundred. Why not? No, for my students, naman. So okay, po yun. But of course, you are not required to do that because there are free access. No, and what we have shown you, these are all free. You can access that for free. Okay. Uh, meron pa po ba? May si share lang, ma'am, for okay. uh, to conclude, ma'am, everything. Thank uh, you. Po. And then I will give the output po. Okay. So, uh, before we give the output, let us have some um, research ideas. Now, now, there are seven Principles of Effective Online Assessment according to Palof and Path of 2009. So you can um, use this as your own, uh, as, uh, ba uh, as a basis for your self-reflection on how you will implement effective online assessment. So the first one is design learner-centered assessment that includes self-reflection. So yung pinakita po namin kayo ni Ma'am Intatano, um, those are learner-centered and also include self-reflection. So you can choose from the variety of choices that we've catered to you. Pangalawa po, design and include grading rubrics for assessment. Now, it, this is quite challenging to all of us 
um, since grading nowadays is quite an issue. Grading, grading is quite an issue. Pero, I mean, if there are certain activities na sa tingin nyo naman, can, uh, certain platforms like Google Classroom that can help you um, record something, do it. No? Include collaborative assessment. So, yung pinakita ni Ma'am Intatano, yung, yung ini-encourage natin yung mga bata to, to collaborate, like yung ginawa nyo kanina sa mga slides, sa Google Slides. And then, assessment techniques that is fit and aligned with the milk. Then, um, design assessment that is clear, easily to understand, and like it to work with an online environment. So, nakita nyo po yung mga presentations namin. It's just simple kasi kinoconsider po namin yung bandwidth ng mga applications na ginagamit namin. So, technically, use a bandwidth that is friendly, clear, specific, and also user-friendly din sa mga sudyante natin. And of course, ask for incorporate student input. Now, since grading is an issue nowadays, mahalaga po na may panghawakan pa rin tayong mga task or mga inputs coming from the students. So, um, all of the tech tools na pinisend po namin can give excellent and very good inputs. So, might as well document it para just in case na there are certain uh, changes in the future on how we can now grade students for online classes. Meron tayong mga panghahawakan. Okay? So, thank you po.